here's Sue's report on a great show. You're looking at the last few minutes of the sun before the moon completely covers it over. We're on board a cruise ship called the Staunton Dawn, where some of the top astronomers in the country have gathered to watch the total solar eclipse. They're here in the Southern Caribbean because this is where the sun will be blocked out for three minutes and 43 seconds, making it the best spot in the world to see the total solar eclipse. Okay, we're underway. We are underway. But every time you look up, you put them on, okay? You don't look up without them, ever. No? Uh-uh. We can actually see two planets up there next to the sun. That's Jupiter and Mercury. A little lower in the sky, we can also see Venus. It's noticeably cooler now. It's very, very dark. And the next thing we're going to be looking for is Bailey's Bead. Bailey's Beads occur uh, just before the sun goes totally eclipsed. You have little irregularities, peaks, valleys, mountains along the limb of the moon, and the sun shines through those. At the end of the eclipse, we have the diamond ring. That occurs when you have one particularly deep valley that lets the sunshine come through it, and then pow. Oh! Can I ask you what you thought of the eclipse? Great, super. <laughs> Everything I imagined. And it was a black hole in the sky. I just, I just stood there and went, woohoo! Outrageous. That was the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> Great big corona. It was much larger than I saw. And when it first started, I saw these little. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. You're speechless. <laughs> yeah. And it's erythral. It really is. It's almost like you're watching some kind of a grand event of nature, which it is. How do you say she wanted a diamond ring like that? I was going, man. <laughs> well, the total solar eclipse ended just a few minutes ago, and now we've got about another hour and a half of partial phases as the moon slips over to the other side of the sun, ending the last total solar eclipse in the Western Hemisphere until the year 2017. It's an unbelievable experience, and I can't wait to tell you all about it when I get back to Washington tomorrow night. I'll see you then.